Well, welcome back to another episode of Nats Demystified. We're out here on this beautiful day at the National Air Modeling Championships, and we're at the Soaring Nats, and right here I've got Wally Adazic. Wally, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you very much, Matt, and I'm telling you what, we're looking forward to demystifying soaring just a whole lot for you guys. Fantastic. So, you know, I've spent all week out here at the Soaring Nats and we've seen all sorts of different events out here. One of the cool things that's going on right now, we have air, sailplanes like these, but what's interesting for somebody that may not be around sailplanes very often, there's no propeller on these. So how do we get these airplanes three, 400 feet in the air? 300, 400 feet, I'm telling you what, it's uh, pretty easy, all right? The big thing to, to know that in a true traditional sailplane, at the bottom of the airplane, we have a, a little tow hook, all right? And the little tow hook attaches to a parachute with a metal ring on it, all right? At the end of that, if we go out and we look, this little parachute and wing, it's tied to a line that goes out to a turnaround pulley. The turnaround pulley comes back to an electric motor and the electric motor has a little pedal on it. Stomp on the pedal and the airplane goes up quickly, I, I might note, all right? It's not like uh, having a propeller in the nose, you know, we, which we call wink, winch in the nose. This is a true traditional sailplane. So, what, you know, one of the questions I have is you, you watch these guys, it seems like they've got their timing down when they're working that foot pedal and the rope is tensioning up. How do, what's the feeling that they have when they know they're ready to, to toss it? Well, it, it, you either hang on to it or you don't, all right? That's, uh, that's the big thing. When you feel that line pressure go, then you go ahead and toss it. There's uh, the old guys or the guys that fly high, really high performance sailplanes. They'll hang on to that until the winch stalls and then they'll throw it. Everybody's old guys, all right, like us. Yeah, we get a little bit of pressure on it and then we throw the sailplane and that's how we get it in the air. Very cool. Well, Wally, thank you so much for taking a couple minutes out of your day uh, to tell us all about winch launching. Be sure if you haven't already done so to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have questions you want us to try to answer for you, go ahead and put those down in the comments. And until next time, we'll see you guys later. Take care.